that? What was your takeaway as you reflected on this series? What when did you see the difference? Uh, yeah, obviously it's very disappointing. Um, you know, to get beat five games like that is you know nothing what we wanted, and um, yeah, we just you know we didn't start that series the way we needed to. We established you know that physicality and that playoff style. It just got tiptoed into it and came back to bite us. Um, Obviously, the first game was great. Game two, you know, we threw everything at them. Don't get that win. Kind of dug ourselves a hole, and it was tough to get out of. But, you know, no one in this locker room's happy. Um, you know, we knew, you know, had more for myself. I wish, you know, played better those times. I don't think I created enough out there. But, um, yeah, it's you know, it's disappointing. Though. Ryan, you have some big decisions to make for yourself this summer. How much did you like it here? I'm sure the, the fans would love it if you were back. Would you consider um, any offers here to stay? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's something, um, you know, I'm still, you know, reflecting on the loss and, you know, just coming forward here, I have a lot to think about going, you know, what I plan to do. But, um, you know, this this organization is, is incredible. The, um, obviously, you guys see, you see, you know, the players that they have and, and such, but the, the people in the organization, you know, every facet that's looked after, you know, strength and the nutrition, um, you know, everyone, the, the staff is just incredible and the best of what they do. And, such an amazing place that um, I'm so thankful I was you know, able to brought into it. Obviously, you know, sorry couldn't get the result that we wanted, but um, you know, just to be part of this organization was an amazing thing. And um, yeah, got to uh, you know have some decisions to make going forward. Though. What is your biggest priority in free agency? Um, gosh, I, I honestly <coughs> am still still reflecting on you know the season and, and, and such right now and. And the last series and such that um, you know I haven't given it much thought, um, you know. But uh, you know, once I turn the page here, hopefully in a couple of weeks, that's when I kind of start getting that that mindset. But uh, as for right now, I haven't given too much thought yet. Where are you physically, uh, Ryan? Like at the end, I know everyone's got bumps and bruises, but like, where were you physically by the end of the playoffs? Um, <clears throat> I think like most guys, yeah, I'm just you know, exhausted from the competitiveness and such. But uh, body-wise, I was fine. You know, finger was great and. And no, um, yeah, no big injuries I was dealing with. It's just, uh, yeah, you know, it's nothing bad. And you came in with a fresh set of eyes. From your perspective, kind of coming in, being around the core that's been assembled here, uh, what's your perspective on what they'll be able to accomplish at some point? Oh, you can tell it's you know, the core group here. They're close, you know, they're very close. And the pieces that are in here, the way they, they lead and, and such, um, from an outsider coming into it, wasn't sure what to expect, but uh, I was just so impressed. So impressed by it. Um, it's a very tight group that that works and they want to win, and um, it's extremely difficult to win in this league, and and especially too with the pressure of this city and the, the people of it. It's it's not an easy thing by any means, but you know this this group is very close, and yeah, we'll we'll have success for sure. Did it surprise you, Ryan, the, the, the pressure like you've never seen it up close like this? Um, yeah, um, not, I guess not surprised, but you kind of you know you don't really know it until you're kind of in in it to really see it. But um, you know it's part of the, the you know it's part of it. It's part of yeah. why it makes this you know this mega mecca of hockey and the way people care and uh, you know when you do win, it's going to be something that uh, will be that much more special. Ryan, where do you think the offense went? Um, yeah, it's tough to say. You know, you reflect on it. You see, I know for myself too. I you know. Didn't create enough with the puck, and and you know at times a little too, you know, timid. I think the way attacking and as a group, um, you know, I think those first couple games weren't hard enough on on Bob there that um, you know kind of gave him confidence, got him feeling it, and so I think you know we look back and they reflect on it. You know, it would have been nice to establish a little bit you know tougher game for him early, and I think that would have helped us in the series. But a lot of what ifs, but um, yeah, it's still just yeah, at this point. Chuck suggested that maybe that physical play wore you guys down a bit as the series progressed. Do you feel that up at all? Um, yeah, I think for sure they, you know, they were more physical than us, and I think they kind of grabbed control of the series that way, which, you know, we need to respond a little bit better than we did with it. Um, but yeah, that was definitely, uh, I think, a factor for them that helped them beat us. Whatever happens, what did it mean to you to have this run in Toronto at home? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's so amazing. Just like I said, with the organization, with my family, and going up and the support that I've had from everyone, um, you know, I just can't thank people enough in the organization for bringing me in to, to have a run like this and be a part of this group. Um, yeah, something I'll, you know, always cherish. Are you guys having exit interviews today? Is that what you've been doing? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who's conducting them? Is it Kyle? Is it Brendan? Or? Um, no, everyone's well. You know, there's meetings kind of for 
coaching staff, there's you know, the upper office and so on, a little bit of everything there.